Bora! En je dacht ik mij te nemen. Maar we niet zo bang be a very nice horse with regard to his trainability in, in, in the future. He fills the eye very nicely and he's a super mover. Um, what's he buy, Fraser? <laughs> Fraser doesn't know what he's buying. Continue <laughs> <laughs> on, keep going. Forget how you asked that one. <laughs> Barney. <laughs> and his name is Barney. <laughs> so yeah, he's had a nice walk and a nice... Like to name him, actually. Oh yeah, we can come up with some suggestions to name him. He's a new five-year-old for, the, for their yard, so if you have any nice suggestions, come forward. And you get 5% of profit when he's done. <laughs> but, um, so he's having a little canter here now. And then he'll, uh, just a, he's had a trotty train, he's had a nice, he's going to have a canter train, then give him a little breather and then do a little bit more work first, I think. But as you can see, like for a five-year-old to come in here and not be spooking at the pillars here in the corner and the crowd is, is impressive enough in itself.
So continue then. So hold on there, what you see now asking them for trade. So yeah, this is okay. Yeah? Where are we picking up a charge? Uh, after the crossroads. Up at the top corner yeah. after the crossroads. Yeah. So we're walking up and down here, right? You have to get the paper out of here. My head's gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, Most competitors, I was 13 years old and just went to a local riding school and was fortunate enough to meet the right people and get the right rides on horses. And instead of going to university, I started riding. Uh, and okay, I was. Is that any better? Okay, I'll shout down the hoop. Okay, so uh, as I said, I started riding when I was 13 in just a local riding school and was fortunate enough to get uh, rides on people's horses and eventually got into a competition yard and when I was, I think, 18, went to the Junior Europeans Eventing Championships in Rome and won the bronze medal and then actually went on to do pure dressage as well as eventing on the side and did two European Championships in Young Riders and then moved on to Seniors and this is all while I was still living in England and then moved over to Ireland in 2000 I think so I've been here nearly 20 years I now have my Irish citizenship and competing on the Irish teams a few times
No, I'm just taking a video. <laughs> No, go on, I have a picture of him. Alright. We're going dis to dismount here actually, just for right. a bit okay. drier as well. I'm going to do it here, Adam, alright? Yeah. Right. Good job. <laughs> we're just down here, so we are. Um, 
Demonstration in arena number two. Ali, move and weave it. Move and weave it, Ali. Good girl. Hurry up, Brian, the sun's in my eyes. So, in the last year, Rachel has represented Ireland abroad, all over Europe, competing in FBI pony classes and has been very successful. And she was a member of the nation. Future champions show at Hagen. In a nice outline and accepts the aids of the rider all the time. So we start with showing the lateral movements. That means when the pony goes forward and sideways, and we start with the first of those movements, which is shoulder in, where the pony bends around the inside leg of the rider and crosses the front leg so she goes towards the short side. Good. So then she goes large once again, down the long side, goes in off the track. And all of these exercises are used to develop the suppleness and the engagement of the hind quarters so the pony can collect more and take the weight more on the hind leg. So we see one and another lovely extended saw and into the hall. No, no. no. Yeah, we just have to uh, give her asking questions there. Yeah, I'll How about the please do and how do you do and all that? Yeah. Can you explain it the pizza? We went left. Laura has her spreadsheet on that. Okay, Laura. Okay, if you want to learn a bit about the pizza, she's going to tell us about it. So, Laura. Um, hello. <laughs> Um, my name's Laura and this is Peter. We have two horses here with us today. I'm on field grab. And we're 
rough idea of our biggest horse, which is Aelin. He's just nearing 18 hands high. And our smallest horse, which is Fiacra, who I'm on, he's just over 16 hands. So Fiacra is the height requirement for all the horses when they come in. Um, and even at that, we have one who's probably just a little bit smaller than Fiacra, but you'd have to really outshine yourself if you were a horse looking to get in. And if you were in around 16 hands. So the other horse that we have is just a little bit smaller. All athletes All athletes in Syria, well, of course. And the last one. Yeah, so as I was saying, the one horse that we do have that's a tiny bit smaller than Fiacra is an absolute superstar. We only have him a couple of months and he's making some of the, the veterans look bad even. He's that good. So he's still in training, so it will take a while to come out. Everyone asks Fiacra a girl because he's just so handsome and pretty. And all the girls love Fiacra because I think he's the closest thing to a unicorn you're ever going to get. Um, another thing as well is that all our horses are gelding. There is no mares. Are petitioning for equal rights for mares. <laughs> so we've no stallions either, so just all geldings. Generally, what we'd look for when we're looking for um, horses for the guard and mounted unit, our sergeant is very, very big in tradition, so they have to be or have some amount of Irish draft in them. Not only for tradition reasons, but also because of the bone structure of the Irish draft, they're bred for working. Hundreds of years ago, Guinnesses were the main breeders of Irish draft in Ireland. So I think with the evolution of the motor industry, I think the Irish draft breed slowly started to die off. And in the last 10 years, it's starting to build up again. But we find even the breed itself, it's starting to look a lot more sportier. So if you look at the likes of Aelin next to us here, he's a full draft. Aelin is a full Irish draft. So he's like a front, a front row for any rugby fans. He is big and bold and proud of it. Um, Fiacra is a draft as well, but he's just a little bit more petite. You can still see it in his chest and his legs. He's big and bold as well. Um, I have a little bit of it because the only issue I sort of have with Fiacra, he's very aware of the fact that he's the smallest horse in the yard. So we have a little bit of an ego problem with Fiacra. He holds his head up high, he sticks his chest out. He thinks he's the fastest, he's jumped the highest, God bless him. But it's all about keeping them happy at the end of the day. Aelin then is the complete opposite. Aelin is a lovable rogue, a big friendly giant. I actually didn't like Aelin when I first came to the yard. It took me ages to warm to him. And it was our chiropractor actually I saw her working on him one day and she's tiny, she's a Spanish lady, she's really, really petite and she had him wrapped around her little finger. So it turns out that Aelin's actually a ladies man. <laughs> so we just needed to know, that's it, we just needed to know, to know your audience. So one of the most common questions we get asked is why in the name of God do the guards need horses? Well you just have to introduce them to me because I'm five foot nothing when I'm on the ground. When I'm on the ground, my eyesight is 13 foot tall, so I can see over the crowd a lot more. Another thing as well is the horses weigh, and especially Aelin. Aelin is over a ton weight. So, the, and he, as light as a feather, he'll move off the legs so easily. He would have been a great little dressage horse. He's so big and in your face, but very, very light to ride and very light to the leg, which is fantastic for our job. Um, also, what they're used for is subterrain searches. If a hill walker goes missing, the horses will cover a lot more ground up a mountain than a human will. Then they'll do it quicker and they'll do it with a lot more ease. And they won't need as, as many breaks. God knows I'd need a lot more breaks if I was on my own legs. Um, another thing as well that people might not know is the Garda Mountain Unit is based in Dublin and we're a national unit so we travel the whole country and we're based in Oris and Uthoron so we have very famous neighbours Michael G Higgins and Sabina. I'm still waiting for them to ask me over for a cup of tea and EastEnders some night but they still haven't. Um, so guys if you have any questions just you're all more than welcome to come up with questions. The only thing I will ask is when you're coming up to face he hates people at his face. And I think it's just Fiacre's 14, so he has genuinely had millions of strangers rub his face. And he's just a bit over it now. But we all know no one will ever turn down a shoulder rub. So if you want to come up, I'd ask you just to go to either side and you can ask any question you want. Oh, yeah, you can. Everyone loves Alex. He is so big and bold.
But if you ever try to wear a shoe like that, how easy it is to walk.